welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be attempting a reading vlog. Sorry for the bad angle and the location. I suppose I am currently in my car. I've just pulled up to work. But I thought I would just quickly film this introduction and let you know the reading plans for today. So I am at work today so I will have an hour's lunch which I will be able to read as well as potential some time this evening. I am still currently reading House of Flame and Shadow. I'm on page 634 of this so hopefully with an hour's lunch I will be able to dive a little bit more into this and maybe give you some thoughts. Obviously I don't want to talk too much about this because it is the third book in a series and probably everyone and their mother has read and finished this so you all probably know what happens. But that is my reading plans for today. I didn't listen to my audiobook on the way here. I just fancied listening to the radio so I haven't listened to that so I might listen to that on my way home. We'll see but I will talk to you next when I have some reading updates. so it is much later now but I just thought I would quickly give you some updates so I had my hours lunch so I must have read for about 40-45 minutes on my lunch and I have made it to page 687 if you hear any noise in the background that is just my dog she's just decided to wake up now and play with her toys so like I said I've made it up to page 687 so I can't even remember what I started out on but I think I must have read about 50 pages or so which isn't too bad. The story is really intense at the minute. We have just gone off exploring into another world. We've just met up with some of the characters we met at the, at the beginning. Um, it's very hard because I don't want to say too much to spoil it but if you know you know. All I can say is just that I'm really getting into it. I might pick some more of this up tonight before I go to bed but I'm not too sure. I never picked up my audiobook I just didn't really fancy it. So that is all the reading updates I have for you. But when I came home, there was a lovely parcel waiting for me. So I thought that we could just unbox it together. So it is from Tandem Collective and I work with them on quite a few things on my Instagram and my TikTok. And I am part of their Valentine's Night In with Bloom Books. So they have sent me a bunch of goodies. So let's just see what we've got. I mean, I can already see quite a few books here, which is very exciting. So the first book is A Touch of Darkness by Scarlet St. Clair. I have already read this, I own the hardback of it and I really really enjoyed it. It is a Hades and Persephone retelling with quite a lot of spice but I haven't got around to reading her other ones so I will probably have to dive into those. We've got Hate by Tate James. I haven't heard of this. It says Madison Kate Danvers was murdered tonight. Those words changed my life and not for the better. They're wrong of course, I wasn't dead, but I was set up. But all of the books that I've been sent are all like Valentine's books, so I'm assuming they're all romance books. But this just sounds very interesting. We also have The Girl With Stars In Her Eyes, and that is by that author. I don't want to say it because I know I'm going to butcher it. I haven't, I haven't heard of this book or this author, but it is a very floppy paperback, which I'm very much enjoying. And it's blurred by Christina Lauren as well. The last book we have in here is Neon Gods by Kate Robert. I am very excited for this. I've heard very, very good things. He was supposed to be a myth, but from the moment I crossed the river stick and fell under his dark spell, he was quite simply mine. Now, from what I know, this is a very spicy romance as well, but I am very excited for this. So it looks like it came with some goodies. So we've got a cute little fuzzy blue pen, some love heart sweets, some post-it notes in the shape of a love heart, which I've never seen before, which is very, very cool as well as some adorable little tea light holders but they are in the shape of a rose which I think is gorgeous. So that was just a quick book haul, very excited for all of these. So the event is Thursday so by the time you're seeing this vlog the event would have already have happened. I'm sure I would have posted on my Instagram or my TikTok or something like that about it. So I've been sent these four books because these are the four authors that are going to be there during the event which is very exciting. I can't wait to 
join and see what they're going to say. I love it when authors do talks and things like that because I just feel like you can dive into into their thoughts and just see why they wrote the book and where they get their inspiration from and things like that. But that's all the updates I have for you at the moment. I probably won't check in for the rest of the night so you'll probably next see me tomorrow hopefully with some more reading updates. I'm hoping to read a bit more of this tonight but we'll see and if not hopefully I'll be able to finish this tomorrow because I feel like I've been literally reading for this for like two weeks now I'm just, I'm ready for another book. Lugging this around at work is just ridiculous. I will see you in my next update. Day. so it's currently Tuesday and I have some new reading updates for you so today I actually have finally finally finished House of Flame and Shadow I think I need a few days for this to process because I've waited so long for this book and it's took me so long to read but it's now over and there has to be another one she has to write another book there are four houses in Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood, House of Sky and Breath, House of Flame and Shadow, and the House of Many Waters. That's four houses. We've had three books, so surely there has to be another one. And maybe that links in with what happened at the end, and which mythical creature has just come to life. I love that. I love, I loved that. So yeah, I finished this five stars absolutely loved it i also listened to a bit of my audiobook on the way to work and on the way home so i read a couple more chapters of these violent delights and i would say i'm at a good point at the minute i'm about halfway through my drive to work is very short it's literally like 10 15 minutes so i can i can only read about a chapter or listen to a chapter or two each way as such so i am it has taken me a while to get through this but i am thoroughly enjoying it and it is very dark and the things that they are doing to kind of prove their loyalty to each other is just astounding the conversations that they're having but i am definitely enjoying this hopefully i can dedicate a bit more time to listening to the audiobook i am off on thursday so hopefully i can put my headphones on and just kind of get some jobs done around the house and bits and pieces so yes so I'm still listening to this and I've finished House of Flame Shadow so I need to choose another book to read and I have no idea what to read. I've bought a few new books recently so I'm a bit like I could read one of those but I do have like a, a TBR that I wanted to read in February and I've literally read two of those books and there was eight on that list so I could potentially pick up one of those. I'm undecided so but speaking of books, I did buy some books today while I was at work. So I thought I would just quickly show you them. So these came into work today and I didn't even want to put them on the shelf because I just saw the artwork and was just like, I need it. So these are aged, at, they're, like, they're like a middle grade. It's a nine to 12 sort of graphic novel, but they're called Lightful. And I just saw the cover and just thought it was stunning and I started flicking through and the artwork I am just obsessed with. This is the page that I keep turning to and I just think how amazing. Just like, wouldn't you want to live in that house there? And I just think it would be a really fun read to just kind of just in between like some fantasy books or something or you know where it where the writing might be a bit more dense these will be nice to just pick up in between and i just think they are really really cute so there's two volumes out at the minute the third one i want to say comes out in april i want to say so i will probably pick that up but i just saw it and i just loved the autumnal vibes in it and i just thought i mean why not so i have these to add to my collection so again these are new 
and I probably I do want to pick these up like now because they're new so I just I don't know what to read next so we'll see I am just very very happy with these impulse purchases so I think I need to go and decide what book I am going to read next. I'm going to update my Goodreads and my story graph. So I will speak to you tomorrow when I have chosen my next book to read. literally eight o'clock it is eight o'clock and i am knackered today wasn't even that busy of a day i'm just i don't know i think i just need to catch up on some sleep so reading updates i decided to start emily wilde's map of the other lands this morning i've been meaning to pick this book up for quite a while since i received it i think i received it at the start of this year and i just haven't got around to it and i really really enjoyed emily wilde's encyclopedia of fairies so i just thought i would give this a go i thought it would be a nice quick fun read after reading house of flame and shadow so I read most of this on my lunch and I've been home and I've just read a little bit now and I am on page 81. I am really enjoying this. You can definitely tell that Emily Wilde is focusing more on other mythical creatures in the other lands rather than just the fairies which is quite interesting and we are learning about some new people and we are traveling through different realms. It's all very exciting. I love her writing style. I love just the cliff notes at the bottom. I, I'm just having a great time with this. So I will probably read a bit more of this tonight before I go to bed, but I am really tired. So we will see. This is the third day in a row where I'm now saying that I've got book mail. I had post on Monday. I bought books yesterday and I ended up buying a book today. This isn't normal. I don't normally get books every day, but for some reason, this is just how the week is going. And I quite like that. This book was supposed to come in yesterday and we didn't get our delivery at work which I was rather annoyed about but luckily it came today so I grabbed it before anyone else could and that is Magnolia Parks Into the Dark. This is the fifth book in the Magnolia Parks series. I have only read Magnolia Parks and Daisy Hates. I haven't read The Long Way Home or The Great Undoing. I kind of want to reread Magnolia Parts and Daisy Hates just so I can kind of remember things that have happened because I annotated the first one I read the second one on my kindle and then I've just kind of stopped the series but I knew I needed to pick this up because I needed this cover because it matches all my other ones I don't have the ones with the feet on I don't like those covers these are the OG covers these are the best ones but I am very very glad to have this I think the cover is absolutely stunning on the back as well you've got this cute little deer in a bathtub God knows what that means, but it's cute and I love it. I was thinking about doing a reading vlog for this series. I didn't know if that's something you guys would be interested in. I could just do a video for each book. We could do it spoiler, we could do it unspoiled. Let me know what you think because I do want to give these a reread and from people's reaction, it's tough. And I think it would be quite good to document me reading these books. So let me know if you would like to see that because that's definitely something I would happily do. But that is all the reading plans. I listened to my audio a little bit on the way to work this morning, but I only listened to like one chapter. So not much really happened to be honest. And then on my way home, I just really couldn't focus. So I just stuck the radio on. I have tomorrow off though thankfully so i have a few jobs that i need to do i need to take over to the rumors and bits and pieces i kind of want to sort out my bookshelves i've just got piles of stuff everywhere and it's just getting a bit overwhelming it's getting a bit messy and things like that but hopefully i should be able to update you tomorrow during the day because like i said it is my day off but i just kind of want to make a cup of tea read a few more chapters of map of the other lands and then probably have a bit of an earlier night so i will talk to you tomorrow when i have some more reading updates So 
just found out that in these other lands you have magical cats, fairy cats, and they have these magical powers, but they don't want their masters, their owners, to tell anyone about it. So if they go to, or if they do go to tell someone, then they will basically kill them to prevent other people knowing that they have powers. I just thought that was really cool and I thought you guys needed to know. probably the best angle we're gonna do so it's currently Thursday I have just dropped my dog off Nova at the groomers because she is shedding like mad and this was the only time that I was able to do it so I just thought she she needs she needs she needs a groom so I've just dropped her off I've had a quick browse around the shops I've bought a couple bits which I will show you later on I'm just gonna go back to pets at home and buy her some treats because she is just the goodest girl ever and she obviously needs new toys and new treats so I have no reading updates I've literally got up got showered dressed and got out but these are my only plans for the day besides that author event tonight at eight o'clock so I've got a quite a good few hours where I don't have any plans so I'm hoping to get a lot of reading done I'm hoping to kind of chill out a bit I'm kind of hoping to like give my bookshelves and reading space area a bit of a tidy I will show you later it's an absolute mess and I'm just getting a bit overwhelmed so hopefully we can give that a bit of a tidy but yeah I'm just gonna go to pets at home and get some treats and pick up my dog <laughs> So we are back home now. Nova is groomed and looking gorgeous. She's got a treat somewhere and trying to bury it somewhere. But I thought I would just quickly show you some of the things that I picked up while I was out. So my mum absolutely loves gongs and she loves bumblebees. And when I saw this, I couldn't leave it there. I thought he was absolutely adorable. His head is a beehive. He's holding a bee. He has a honey pot. So I just saw this. I thought my mum needed it. I've already FaceTimed her. And so she knows she's getting it, but just adorable and then the bookish things I picked up was I picked up these 15 pack of mild liner highlighters because I needed some new highlighters for annotating because I kind of want to color code the highlighters with the matching tabs because I tend to just underline tab but I thought maybe highlighting would be quite fun so I picked up this and then in the clearance section I found George Orwell's 1984 but it's in the Penguin edition. So I prefer these editions to the modern classic. So I already have 1984 and this edition, but I just really like the sleekness of the black classics. So it was literally only four pounds, so I couldn't really pass it up. So I will probably give this away or donate this because I don't necessarily need two copies of this, but I thought four pound, I couldn't really say no. I also picked up some dog treats while I was at Pets at Home, but obviously we don't really, I don't really need to show you treats for my dog but that is everything I picked up while I was out my McDonald's has just arrived so I'm going to sit and eat that and then hopefully crack on with some reading today sat down and read for about five minutes the door went and we have book mail so let's see what we got we're gonna start with the wh smith box because i did already kind of peek just to see what was in here because i know i haven't ordered anything there are six books in here and they are all part of richard and judy's book club so we have rob brinder's the trial we have jessica knoll's bright young women we've got oversharing by jane fallon the last passenger by will dean no One Saw a Thing by Andrea Mara, 
and we have Amelia Hart's Wayward. So there is quite a big selection of books to choose from. I am probably most excited for Wayward. I've heard really good things about Amelia Hart's writing. I haven't read any of these, so let me know if they are any good, if anyone has read them. But thank you very much to WH Smith for sending me these amazing books. And then we also have one more package, but I'm not too sure who it's from. So let's just open it up. So it looks like it is one of Gabriel Garcia Marquez's books, which is 100 Years of Solitude. And it looks like even though he died, I want to say it was 10 years ago in 2014, he is releasing a new book. So he must have had a manuscript somewhere that was finished and they found it after he died. And they are going to publish it and it is called Until August. Just a little bit of paper there. Penguin were very very kind enough to send me a copy of one of his books which I am very excited about. I haven't read anything by this author. It says 100 Years of Solitude is one of the most daringly original works of the 20th century so it will be very fun to give this a go so thank you very much to Penguin for sending me this. I feel like we've done a lot of book hauls this week already so I'm kind of hoping for a few days without book mail because I've got so many books to put away it's unreal. But I am probably not going to pick up Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands for a little bit. I think I'm going to stick my headphones on and organise my shelves a little bit and kind of deal with the mess that's down here that you guys can't see. So let's crack on. currently Friday evening and I don't remember the last time I updated you. I think I finished a book since the last time we spoke, I'm not too sure. So Thursday was my day off and I spent most of the afternoon slash evening listening to my audiobook which was These Violent Delights and I did in fact finish that. I gave that book four stars. I thought it was very well written for a debut novel but the ending kind of confused me a little bit because something happened and I kind of didn't realise that happened until I read some of the reviews on Goodreads. I think I just probably wasn't smart enough to kind of understand what was going on. But nonetheless, it was a very good read. I very much enjoyed the audiobook. So if you are interested in the audiobook, I would definitely check it out. I think it's worth it. So I managed to finish a book. I am still reading Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands. I'm still not very far. I'm about halfway through now. I'm on page 171. So I didn't read as much while I was at work today because I had a couple meetings that I kind of had to cut my break short with. So I haven't read as much and I haven't read this evening. We have movie night tonight. So we watched Beauty and the Beast, which was really nice and fun and just relaxing. So I haven't really done much reading, but I do have some bookish parcels that I kind of want to show you since we're here. So I got some books in the mail today. So I am reading some books for work and one of them is Scaffolding by Lauren Elkin. I have no idea what this is about. I'm assuming by the looks of it, it is just a fiction book and it is the story of two couples who live in the same apartment in northeast Paris almost 50 years apart. Both couples face the challenges of marriage, fidelity and pregnancy against a backdrop of political disappointment and intellectual controversy. Characters and their ghosts bump into and weave around each other not knowing that they once all inhabited the same space. Sounds very intriguing. Like I said I need to read it for work so I should probably pick this up soon but I know I, I just get the feeling I'm probably going to be reading this like at the very last minute but I mean it's a very beautiful cover. It's very different so we will give this a go. And then I also have the Fellowship of the Puzzle Makers, which comes out May of this year. Um, we did a um, like a bit of a quiz, like a puzzle at work to kind of figure out some clues. And then if you, I think if you got it right and we submitted our name forward, we were sent a proof and this turned up. So, I mean, I must have got the answer right. It just sounds really fun and it just feels like 
it could be rather a quick read so I am very excited about this. Also at work I tend to get sent a lot of um, POS which is point of sale so bookmarks, standees and stuff like that because um, I request quite a bit for work so they tend to just kind of send me random bits as well. I have been given a pack of bookmarks for An Education in Malice by S.T. Gibson. I've already took one for myself because I already I have the book so I will use this bookmark when I read it so I just need to take these back to work tomorrow and I was also which I'm like really pleased about I've actually been sent a t-shirt which I am definitely going to wear because I mean what's wrong with an extra large t-shirt and it has the education in malice logo cover on the t-shirt it is very very large I'm thinking either just an oversized t-shirt for a can't be bothered to get dressed day or I could sleep in this or something but I mean it's a bookish t-shirt so I'm quite happy with that. And then speaking of bookish t-shirt, I did a Timu, I think that's how you pronounce it, a haul a couple of weeks ago and it's just come in and it was kind of like some bookish sort of stuff so I thought I would just add this in here as well. So I want to say probably the main thing that I got was stickers because you can't really go wrong with stickers. So I got this pack of mushroom stickers which is just adorable. It's a big roll, which I will forever use because I just love mushrooms. I also got this tarot deck sort of card stickers. Again, a roll of them. I just thought these were really cute and small and fun. Tis the season, obviously. So I got some ghost stickers because I just thought they were absolutely adorable. They are quite Halloween-y, but I don't really care. I love a ghost. I saw these frog stickers and I just fell in love. I think they are so fat and so cute and adorable. Love them. Absolutely love them. Gonna stick them everywhere. And then the last lot of stickers I got were some dragon stickers. They're kind of just loose in the packet, but I mean, I just think they're really cute. Like that's definitely toothless and I forget what the white one is. I just love a dragon. So, I mean, you can't really go wrong. I then got these clear containers. I thought I could use them for my sticky notes. I thought they were kind of like the perfect size to just put them in and either transport them or kind of organize them a little bit. I just thought they were quite small and I could find a use for them. And then because I ordered like so many stickers and and I already own like so many different pens and that I picked up a rather large pencil case to kind of organize everything. <laughs> I have a pencil case but it's it's tiny, it's overflowing, I can't even zip it up so I thought that this would be quite a good one to use. I saw the reviews, it seemed really good. It's just got lots of different compartments to put things in and I can kind of put like washi tape in the middle and stuff and hopefully just be able to carry it around and everything's just going to be a bit more organised. I then found this really cool art print because obviously I love dragons and I thought that I could put this in a frame and just hang it somewhere so it's just the anatomy of a dragon but I just thought it was really cool and really interesting and I thought it would be small enough for me to just kind of like put on my shelf but I think it's definitely too large for that so I thought I could either get a frame to put it in and just hang it on my wall or you can get one of those frames where you kind of slot it in and then it, you can kind of hang it and then maybe I could like hang it on the edge of my bookshelf or something but I just thought that was really cool so I picked that up. And then the last thing I picked up, which I thought I would just give it a go and just see what the quality was like, was a t-shirt. But it's not just any t-shirt. It is a bookish Valaris t-shirt. And I am, like, in love. I think this is such good quality for, like, obviously for the price I paid. It's just this really nice cream colour. And obviously you've just got Valaris, the City of Starlight, on the front. And I, it's, I got it in a medium and it's quite large and oversized which is exactly what I wanted and I just thought I'm gonna wear this loads I mean you can't really go wrong with a t-shirt but it's my first kind of like bookish merch sort of t-shirt other than like the education in malice that's literally just turned up but I just thought it was really really nice and like I said the quality is really good so I am like so excited to wear this I'll probably wear this tomorrow to work or something like that so very excited but yeah that was just a quick update I'm not gonna read any more tonight I think I'm just gonna head off to bed like I said I have work tomorrow so kind of need to be prepared for that because it's Saturday tomorrow so it's going to be much busier I haven't started another audiobook I'm not too sure what to kind of start at the minute I don't really know what I'm feeling and I'm kind of hoping to read a good chunk of 
Emily Wilde's map of the other lands tomorrow. I have no plans after work, so I'm kind of hoping I can just kind of chill out a little bit. Yeah, I'm very much enjoying these type of vlog style. I hope when you get around to watching this that you enjoy it as well. I'm quite enjoying just recording parts of my day and you can see what I've been up to. Like earlier today, I had a meeting, so I was able to just record some B-roll for it and things like that. And I'm just finding it really fun. And just being able to have just a general chat and like show you like my random book purchases and things like that. So hopefully you guys like it too. I can then kind of carry on these weekly vlog style videos. But yes, I will probably catch up with you tomorrow when I have some more reading updates. Because I feel like most updates I give you are book mail related. So hopefully tomorrow I can just read a load and tell you all about it. So I will see you then. Saturday evening and I finally have some reading updates for you. So I have literally spent all evening just sat here reading Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands and I have finished it. Now I did really enjoy this but I definitely think I preferred her first book more than this. Not saying that I didn't like this. I think I'm going to either rate this a three and a half or a four star. I'm a bit unsure at the minute. The writing was very poetic. I enjoyed all the footnotes. I enjoyed the romance and the adventure that they went on. But I don't know, there was just something about that first book that just really gripped me. And I'm not too sure. But again, I did really enjoy it. And reading the back of it, it does look like there is going to be a third book in the series, which is rather exciting. With the way it ended, you could kind of tell that there was going to be another book. I don't think there's going to be more than three. I think it is just going to be a trilogy you know personally in in my opinion but it was just a very fun light-hearted read and I'm glad I picked it up and I am looking forward to the third one I kind of want to give the first one a bit of a reread but I just think her writing style is really beautiful and I'm glad that I picked it up finally so that is another book ticked off the list for this week so I think I've managed to finish three books this week so far and we've still got tomorrow I am out most of the day tomorrow so we will see what we're going to read but now this is the tough choice of I don't know what to read again because I haven't chosen an audiobook and I've just finished the physical book so I'm probably going to be spending the next half an hour to an hour just staring at my bookshelves just thinking about what to read it's very overwhelming I don't understand how people do this I have a TBR to choose from as well but part of me is just I don't want to choose the books off that I just I just want to choose a random one but I never know what I'm in the mood for even though I'm a mood reader I don't know I don't know how people do it so I am probably going to like I said stare at my shelves try and pick a book and I will let you know what I choose part of me because I am just sat here is kind of tempted to read the crimson moth because it does come out in February it doesn't say a date so I'm not too sure because I don't think it's out just yet I think it is coming out in the next few days but it's about a witch and a witch hunter and obviously they're going to fall in love. And it is the most sizzling romanticy of 2024 and I love a good romanticy so I'm kind of tempted to pick this up. But I'm undecided so I will let you know when I know what the next book is going to be. I'm George's friend, Cairo. You'll be seeing me a lot on her vlog. <laughs> so just get used to my face. This is Carly. Hi, I'm Carly. I'm around 
sometimes. Yes. She just lives a bit further, but she, you'll see her too. Say hi. Hey. And there's George. Or well, you know her as Fathom in the Blur. Subscribe, like, comment. I hope you all enjoyed that last clip. My friends will probably be taking over my YouTube very soon, but they are just incredible people, so be prepared to see them a lot more. Now, on to reading updates. I have none. I did decide to pick up the Crimson Moth, and don't be fooled that there is a bookmark in here. It is literally on chapter one. I have not read a single page. I obviously, as you've seen, spent the day out and about with some friends. We went out for some brunch. We did some shopping, a bit some pieces. We didn't really have the time to sit and read. And then since we've been home, I've cooked dinner. We've watched a film and that's it really. So I will probably pick this up tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to read. If I do, I might read a couple chapters if that, but I will probably update you guys in next week's vlog, which I will start tomorrow. So I am going to sign off this vlog here. I just want to say the biggest, biggest thank you to all the love on my first video. It, you guys are incredible and the subscribers and the likes and the comments that I've received is just amazing. And I'm just so excited to be part of this bookish community. So thank you for welcoming me. Hopefully you like this vlog. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I do make sure to like and comment all of your comments because they just mean the world to me. And you guys taking your time out of your day to comment on something that I've created is obviously just so meaningful so yes please let me know if you do like this style of reading vlog i would love to get your opinions on it, whether it's too long whether it's too short just literally anything i am obviously brand new to this so any pointers you can give me would just be incredible thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye